rolling uh, uh, in, in, their, in their centerpiece with the new ambassador. We call him new because he's new in Washington. He has an amazing diplomatic history and has done a great deal of work all over the world, of course, as well as in his native land. But I believe he will find that the uh, warmth and the generosity of spirit and general fun-loving nature of Washingtonians will put it all to shame. Let's bring up Ambassador Oz. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, children. Good to see all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's so wonderful that you could all join us tonight for a Christmas tradition that has become one of our favorites at the Norwegian Embassy, the tree lightning ceremony here at the Union Station. I'm particularly happy to see that we have so many children here tonight. The holidays are about the children, and it's a pleasure to have you here with us as we light this fantastic tree. The kids might be excited to learn that we have had a sighting of a man that likes to see this time of year. He wears a red suit and says, says ho, ho, ho. And well, I don't want to spoil the surprise. Let's just say he will be joining us in a little while. Also with us tonight is Robert Davis, our master of ceremonies. Robert is a close friend of the embassy. Thank you for all your help over the years. Let me also extend a warm welcome to General Bogdan uh, of the United States Air Force, who has graciously accepted our invitation to light the tree. And it wouldn't be a Christmas celebration without song. Thanks to Rosa Betancourt and Andrew Midlack of the New York Opera Society for their wonderful singing of the Norwegian and American national anthems. They will perform for us again in a moment. And earlier we heard the carolers of Greater Washington who sang so beautifully for us in several languages. They will return again later too. Thanks for joining us tonight. The U.S. Marines are here as well and they are accepting donations for Toys for Tots. Thanks for your hard work for this worthwhile, worthwhile cause. The magnificent Christmas tree that stands in front of you is an annual tradition dating back to 1996. It's a gift from the people of Norway to the people of the United States, both as a, as a symbol of the deep friendship between our two nations and as thanks for America's assistance and support during the Second World War. That was a time of great sacrifice, when so many Americans and Norwegians gave so much in defense of liberty. At this time of the year, Washington boasts several spectacular Christmas trees. The White House has several, and Congress has one as well. But I must confess to all of you that I like this one the most. With its 20,000 lights and all the colorful flags, we hope it will brighten the days of the people of this great city and the thousands of travelers who pass through Union Station this month. And this year, it has something extra. If you look closely, you will see the screen. This year marks the 150th anniversary of Edward Munch's birth, and we are honoring him by decorating over three with his masterpiece, 700 of them, in fact. I guess you could say the scream represents the angst we sometimes experience during the hectic weeks leading up to the holidays. But the real reason we chose to decorate over three with the scream is because it is, in lo it is low, loved and recognized by people all over the world. It is a reminder of the timelessness of great art. It is also a reminder that great art is still being made today in places like Oslo, which is quickly becoming a world capital of great contemporary art. Christmas is a joyous time of year. It is a time we spend with our loved ones. But it's also a time for reflection and a time to look forward. 
in that spirit and for the new year i wish for peace and prosperity for everyone i wish you all a very merry christmas or as we would say in norwegian go jul it is now my great pleasure to present this treat to mr steven lord director of community affairs for the district of columbia Mr. Glod, on behalf of the Norwegian Embassy, I offer this treat as a gift to the people of Washington. Good evening, District of Columbia, and let me just say on behalf of Mayor Vincent Gray, um, I want to give greetings to Ambassador Oz, to General Christopher Bogdan and our other distinguished guests, um, and to all of you for joining us today. I am Director of Community Affairs for the District of Columbia, and it is my honor and great pleasure to accept this magnificent tree on behalf of not only the mayor, but the residents of the District of Columbia um, and the people of this world-class city, our nation's capital. Today, I am delighted to be here to participate in this holiday tradition and share the joy of the season. We are particularly grateful that D.C. is home to a large, active, diplomatic community that engages with local residents to share cultural heritage and to learn from each other. The diplomatic community in Washington plays a vital role in the people-to-people the people diplomacy, which helps our nations move closer together. This tree is symbolic of the warmth we feel at this time of the year and our relationship with our friends from Norway provides a shining example of partnerships that help sustain and make this community of Washington, D.C. unique. We are grateful for the generosity as well as the friendship we share with Norway. Our people-to-people -people diplomacy continues every day. As Director of Community Affairs, I engage with the community on a daily basis and am very appreciative of the Norwegian Embassy's personnel, personnel's active involvement in our community, especially their engagements with the students of our schools here in Washington. Again, thank you to Your Excellency and the people of Norway for your involvement in our city and for sharing this wonderful gift with the people of the District of Columbia and the nation, this symbol of the friendship between our countries is welcome during this holiday season. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Stephen, so much. Let's get some music back up here. And I'm going to talk a little more about each one of these wonderful performers you had as we reflect on the idea that Ed, the, our national anthem was 50 when Edvard Munch was 